One of the most popular questions from trigonometry in various competitive exams has been on finding the maximum and the minimum value of the given trigonometric equation. Now before we take up a few examples on this, let us understand that how do we get the maximum and minimum value of a standard trigonometric equation of the given form. Right? So the point here is the maximum and minimum values for trigonometric equations of the form a sin theta plus or minus b cos theta are root over a square plus b square and minus of root over a square plus b square respectively. Right? So if we have the trigonometric equation of the form a sin theta plus b cos theta or a sin theta minus b cos theta then the maximum value will be root over a square plus b square and the minimum value will be minus of root over a square plus b square. Let us take a few examples to understand this. For, for example, let's say the given equation is 4 sin theta plus uh, 3 cos theta. 4 sin theta plus 3 cos theta. Now what will be the maximum value? a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 3. So the maximum value will be root over 4 square plus 3 square which is uh, you know 16 plus 9 25 root over 25 is 5 here all right and the minimum value would be minus of root over 4 square plus 3 square which is minus 5 right likewise let's say uh, the given trigonometric uh, equation is sine theta minus uh, 2 cos theta sine theta minus 2 cos theta right now this is also of the form a sine theta minus b cos theta what is a in this case 1 and b is equal to 2 or minus 2. What will be the maximum value? Root over a square plus b square. So 1 square plus you can say minus 2 square or 2 square. Right? That is anyway going to give us plus 4. So root over 1 square plus uh, 2 square which is root 5. Alright? 1 plus 4 root 5. And the minimum value will be minus of root 5. Right? The only difference between maximum and minimum is maximum is plus root over a square plus b square and minimum will be minus of root over a square plus b square. So simply take a and b and get the maximum and minimum values as root over a square plus b square and minus of root over a square plus b square respectively. However, always the question may not be of the form a sin theta plus or minus b cos theta. So let us now take a few examples to see how to find the maximum and the minimum values of equations that are not of the standard form a sin theta plus or minus b cos theta. So let us now take an example on finding out the maximum or the minimum value of the given trigonometric equation. So example 17 here it says find the minimum value of 2 sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta and the given answer options are minus root 13, 2, 3 and 5. So we need to find out the minimum value of 2 sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta. Well, if you are thinking that the answer is option A minus root 13, then let me make it clear that minus root 13 is not the correct answer, right? See, maybe some of us think that this is of the form, you know, A sin theta plus B cos theta and minimum value should be minus of root over A square plus B square, where A is equal to 2 and B is 3. So we get minus root over 4 plus 9, that is minus 13. But this is not the correct answer as I have mentioned because the given equation is not of the standard form, right? The standard form that we had taken was a sin theta plus or minus b cos theta. Now, if you observe closely, the given equation is not of the form a sin theta plus b cos theta. Here we have got a sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta. So basically the functions or the trigonometric ratios here are squares, not uh, simply the given trigonometric ratio. So hence we cannot apply this uh, formula minus of root over a square plus b square and mark the answer as minus root 30. So what would be the correct answer? Let's look at it. 2 sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta. 2 sin square theta plus 3 
cos square theta. Now there are different ways of doing it. One of the simplest methods is as follows. Here let us split 3 cos square theta as 2 cos square theta plus cos square theta. So this can be taken as 2 sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta becomes 2 cos square theta plus cos square theta. Now I am sure most of you have got the logic here. The reason why we have split it as 2 cos square theta plus cos square theta is to get this form 2 sin square theta plus 2 cos square theta. If you take 2 common what are we left with? Sin square theta plus cos square theta and then additional cos square theta here. We very well know this trigonometric identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 right. So there is no point of a maximum or a minimum value for this part of the question here because this is going to be a constant that is 1. So this can be taken as 2 into 1 plus cos square theta. Now just think of it what can be the minimum value of cos square theta. If you observe the uh, values of cos theta for various angles you would find that it is between minus 1 and plus 1. Right, both sin theta and cos theta, the minimum value is minus 1, the maximum value is plus 1. Now, since we need the minimum value of this function, right, minimum value of this given trigonometric equation, already we have got 2 plus cos square theta. Now, to get the minimum value, we should consider the minimum value of cos square theta. Understand, if it is cos theta simply, then we can say the minimum value is minus 1, right, for cos theta, the minimum value is minus 1. So 2 minus 1, 1 will be the answer. But this is not cos theta, this is cos square theta. And cos square theta cannot be a negative value, it has to be a positive value. Now what can be the uh, minimum positive value or minimum value for cos square theta? It will be 0. If you take theta as 90 degrees, cos square 90 would be 0. And that can be the minimum value here, right? It cannot be less than 0. It can be more than 0 or equal to 0. But since we are looking for minimum value, we have to consider 0 here. So if we take cos square theta as 0, we are left with 2. Hence, the minimum value of the given uh, trigonometric equation 2 sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta will be equal to 2, which is option B here. So as you have seen, only for the standard form that we have taken, a sin theta plus or minus b cos theta, we can go ahead with minus or plus of root over a square plus b square to get the minimum and maximum values respectively. But if it is in any other form, then we have to carefully, uh, you know, expand it using some trigonometric identity or convert into a right form to arrive at the minimum or the maximum values.